Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. So on this tutorial we are going to revise some of our previous topics on plots, tables, and file browsers. So first of all I import my uh, Qt GUI, OSS, uh, I'm using NumPy, and all the matplotlib backends. So let me just show you the GUI I just made. So over here you have this really nice uh, GUI with the canvas. You have the import CSV, the plot button, and you have a table. So basically what happens is that I put in a number on the table and I plot it and it just shows up. Um, so it's right now it's empty and I can import the CSV file. So before we go into that, I want to cover a bit of the code and I'll show you step by step exactly what's happening behind the scenes. So first of all, we have our main user interface. We have our grid layout. As you know, grid layouts basically separate out the spaces into columns and rows. And then we have our canvas and toolbar, which the canvas is where we have the plot and the toolbar is where we can manipulate the plot. For example, saving it, zooming in and out, changing between subplots and the home to readjust. After that, we have the table. So quickly going over the table, we have the Q table widget. We set one column, uh, sorry, one row and nine columns. So you can see here at the bottom, uh, nine columns and one row. And we put that on our grid too. We have our import CSV button, which goes to our get CSV function and our plot button for our plot function. So let's go over each of the buttons. So first off, let me go over the import CSV, which the import CSV button over here, which goes to our get CSV uh, function. So import CSV button, I click on it and I designed it so that you only see the CSV files. I'll go over that super quick again. I double click and as you can see, all the contents of my CSV file are over here. So I can just open the CSV file to show you exactly what it is again. Um, so it just has these nine numbers, uh, all comma separated. So going back, we have our get CSV function. We have the title single file. Um, we have our location, the PyQt4 folder. So when I open the browser, this is exactly what you saw. After that, um, I asked it to only show me CSV, so wildcard.csv. So what happens is my file path will give me the name of my file or the entire path. After that, I put the file path and I do a read only to get the file handle. So I have the CSV file as a file handle. I read the line, so I use read line, and I do it up to everything except well, I look at all the values up till the second to last value because I don't want the slash n. And then I split at every commas because it's a CSV file comma separated. After that, I enumerate through all the values of the line. So all the strings, I take in the index and basically the value. My new item is going to be my Q table widget item because you can only add a Q table widget item onto your Q table widget. And then I add the value onto the particular coordinate. So zero as it, because we only have row zero and N being the index. And the new item is the uh, Q table widget item. And then we just adjust the size of the rows and columns. And doing that, basically gives us all the numbers on the table at the bottom here. Next up, uh, the plot button. So if I click the plot, I have the really nice plot. Oh, by the way, I, oh, uh, I'll cover that in the plot a bit. So on the plot, we have y equals to an empty list. And for n equals in range nine, because we actually know there are nine numbers in the CSV file. I just designed it that way. After that, we do a try accept. So the reason we do a try accept is because sometimes people might change a number 
into nothing, which caused the data point to disappear, or I write cat, which cannot be converted to a number, it does the same thing. So basically what I'm doing is I do a try statement to check if I can convert the string into a float, as in if it's a number. If it's yes, then I get a data point here. So replace cat with four and it's connected. If it's not, for example, I have cat or nothing at all, I replace it with an NAN, which is not a number. And I get that from the NumPy library. Then I clear all the plot, any plot that was on my canvas. Then I make my axis handle, I add a subplot. I plot Y, red, and the dotted line. And I set table, set title to table plot, and I draw onto the canvas. And that's exactly what you saw over here. So this was a quick review. If you have questions, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Uh, till the next tutorial, have a nice day.